Step into a timeless moment, a magical evening still vivid in my memory. It was the 4th of January, 2013. It was a cozy evening and we were celebrating a childhood milestone. My six-year-old daughter was standing in front of the mirror, proudly showing off her first missing tooth. The excitement in the air was palpable. Suddenly, the room filled with a burst of energy as my husband, Carlo, dashed into the house from the deck, his face a picture of utter confusion. Bells, what the heck is this? He blurts out as he gestured for me to follow him. At the end of the video, I will reveal the unique sketch Carlo created of what we encountered and share snippets from our recording of that night. This recording captures our real-time reactions, offering a rare glimpse into a night that has forever changed our lives. What more will we discover together? Keep watching to find out. Join me as we dive into this unforgettable family tale filled with surprise and laughter. Stick around to see what Carlo couldn't believe his eyes were seeing. Welcome to As Told by Bells, where mysteries unfold, the bizarre becomes reality, and strange stories come to life. I'm Bells, your guide into the world of the unexplained. Each week, we'll delve into unsolved mysteries that continue to baffle and tell so bizarre you won't believe they happened. To stay in the loop with every captivating story, make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and ring that notification bell. Trust me, you don't want to miss a single episode of these extraordinary stories we're about to unravel. Now let the storytelling begin. Intrigued, I followed Carlo onto the deck and immediately my gaze was captured by an astonishing sight overhead. It wasn't your typical saucer-shaped UFO that pop culture had imprinted in our minds. This was something else, something otherworldly. Hovering above about 250 feet in the sky was a colossal rectangular object, silent yet imposing, etched starkly against the starry night sky. It had white lights near the edges and a red light in the center. It defied all my previous notions of what a UFO could be. What was this strange object? Why was it here? I want to hear from you. Have you ever heard of a rectangular UFO before? Leave a comment below and let's discuss this intriguing phenomenon. Carlos sprang into action, his phone out in a flash, snapping pictures and recording despite the darkness. Sadly, the low light meant that no photo could truly capture the sheer awe of what we were witnessing. Amidst this, the dogs erupted into frantic barking, escalating the chaos. Our daughter, tears streaming down her face, she was overwhelmed by fear. Even at her young age, she could feel the strangeness of the situation, sensing that this was far from normal. After about two minutes, the object moved out of sight. We quickly retreated indoors, our minds swirling with surreal encounter. Inside, Carlo, with his keen eye for detail, wasn't about to let this extraordinary moment fade away. He quickly grabbed a piece of construction paper and began sketching the bizarre craft, focused intently on capturing what we saw as accurately as possible. His hands moved quickly, tracing the outlines of the strange rectangular shape that had hovered so ominously above us. What was this mysterious visitor in the sky? Stay with me as we delve deeper into this mystery and reveal Carlo's sketch. Could this drawing have helped us understand what we saw? Keep watching to find out. Living in Pinebush, New York, often dubbed the UFO capital of the Northeast, definitely adds an extra layer of intrigue to our daily lives. The town thrives on its reputation with annual UFO festivals, a dedicated UFO museum, and regular gatherings for enthusiasts. Fueled by a desire to share our extraordinary experience and seek validation, Carlos wasted no time. He quickly emailed our encounter details to the local UFO community, eager to report our sighting. What would they say? Were others witnessing the same thing? It wasn't long before Linda Zimmerman, a renowned author who documents such phenomena, reached out to us. Intrigued by our account, 
She was gathering content for her upcoming book, Hudson Valley UFOs, and our encounter seemed to perfectly encapsulate the mysterious experiences she aimed to chronicle. Our story, combined with the independent confirmation from another witness, helped to paint a fuller picture of that night's events. Together, these accounts added depth and credibility to the unfolding mystery. Stay with me as we explore how our sighting contributes to Linda's research and what other secrets Hudson Valley UFOs might reveal. Through a fortunate set of coincidences, Linda Zimmerman has sent an email to Jenny D at whose house they had held their Pine Bush UFO stakeout back in October of 2012. She sent her a link to ufogrid.com, which had posted the sketch of the object that Carlo had drawn. It just so happened that at the time, Jenny was visiting her cousin in Florida, the same cousin who had been spending the night on January 4th at Jenny's house near Pine Bush and had witnessed the same rectangular craft. Jean and Jenny's husband were outside with the dogs on a clear night, gazing at the stars when something unexpected caught their eye. What the bleep is that? Jenny exclaimed as a massive rectangular object appeared low in the sky. That doesn't look like any airplane I've ever seen, they both agreed. This object was unlike anything they had ever witnessed, stretching at least as long as a football field. It resembled a long rectangle with a glass bottom boat appearance, displaying lights with its structure. The object made no sound and moved very slowly, taking about five minutes to traverse the sky and disappear from sight, heading in the same direction we saw it. This additional confirmation added another layer to our story, tying together distant observations into a cohesive and compelling narrative. Stick around as we delve deeper into Jenny's experience and discover how it interacts with our own. What more will we uncover about this mysterious craft? Keep watching to find out. Jean's experience, coupled with ours, underscored a significant sighting that connected multiple observers each corroborating the other's accounts and solidifying the extraordinary nature of what we had all witnessed. This collective validation not only affirmed our own encounter, but also immortalized it in Linda Zimmerman's book, The Hudson Valley UFOs. This narrative bridged personal encounters with the wider public's curiosity and intrigue surrounding UFO sightings in Pine Bush. In our journey to understand the extraordinary sighting, we eventually reached out to the mutual UFO network, MUFON, a renowned organization dedicated to the study of UFO phenomena. Our detailed account, along with the corroborative testimonies from Gene and others, is now part of MUFON's extensive archive, adding a crucial piece to their ongoing research. This is the sketch that Carlo drew of the UFO based on what we all witnessed. Alongside this, we captured a recording of the incident. Though the video is too dark to clearly show the UFO, it vividly captured our real-time reactions to the bewildering experience. It's a powerful reminder of the raw emotion and excitement that enveloped us as we faced the unknown. Uh, I can't get it. Just keep filming it. Just there's nothing there. I can't. I can't see nothing. It's dark. Let me see. Maybe I could shoot a. That night of January 4, 2013, remains a pivotal moment in our lives. A profound encounter that not only challenged our understanding of the world, but also brought our family closer in shared wonder and intrigue. This experience has instilled in us a lifelong curiosity and a sense of connection with the broader mysteries of the universe. It's a reminder of the vast, unexplored frontiers that lie just beyond our everyday perceptions, urging us to keep looking up and questioning what lies beyond the visible sky. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the mysteries of the unexplained. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on every captivating story we uncover.
Until next time, keep your eyes open and your mind curious. Stay tuned for more stories from As Told by Bells.